So that's the situation in the United States. Meanwhile, the South American nations of Brazil, Argentina, Paraguay and Uruguay are experiencing their worst flooding in half a century. More than a thousand people are now in temporary shelters after being forced to evacuate their homes in Brazil on Tuesday. More than 100,000 have been displaced in total in the four countries. The Uruguay River is now 11 meters above its normal level. Heavy rains have been linked to the El Nino weather event, which is at its strongest levels recorded in this century. Well, let's talk to Al Jazeera's Teresa Bona, who's just been in the worst hit area of Argentina. Now she's in the capital, Buenos Aires, which is in the grips of a heat wave. So first of all, tell us about what's going on in the worst hit area and how people are coping there. Well, as you just said, Barbara, we just came back from Concordia in the province of Entre Rio, where there's thousands of people that have been evacuated from their homes. We were going around the city and there's shelters that are packed with people, most of them poor people that have lost everything they own. They're living uh, with whatever little they have left. There's children with no diapers, no water. The government is struggling to give people some food and some of their basic needs, but it's obviously the water is not going down anytime soon. We spoke to authorities there and they're telling us that now they're getting ready to cope with the possibility of disease. This is summertime here in Argentina and in the southern cone, so there's lots of humidity, lots of heat, uh, mosquitoes and uh, all sorts of animals like snakes, for example, that thrive in swamp-like conditions like we're seeing in this part of the region. And Teresa, you're painting obviously a, a very dire picture for all the people involved. So what are the governments, the Latin American governments, trying to do about the situation? Well, the Argentinian government has created a special committee to deal with the current situation. It's going to be a situation that probably is going to last for a couple of months at least. That's what experts are saying. The Bolivian government has destined millions of dollars also to prevent, uh, for prevention and to cope with the ongoing crisis. Bolivia, Peru are also being affected uh, by El Nino phenomenon. We've spoken to some experts who are basically saying that what needs to be done is infrastructure. Start building infrastructure, but also prevent people from living living near areas that can be flooded, also have a good evacuation plans to get people out of those areas. But also, this is Latin America. There's lots of people living in poverty. The cheaper areas are generally those that are flooded. So this is an ongoing crisis that probably is going to last for months. Teresa, but with the latest there from Buenos Aires, Teresa, thank you.